Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the Butterfly Oracle deck has to offer the Aquarius. When I was shuffling off camera, I heard, don't force it. Don't force it. Whatever this is you know, in your life, don't force it. It could be something to do with forgiveness. Can you see that? Yeah, forgiveness. Um, I'll just make this focus a little more. There he is. Yeah, forgiveness. Um, and your emotions okay so um, yeah maybe don't don't force the don't force forgiveness either you know you forgiving someone else or vice versa or it's mutual let it happen naturally um, keep your emotions in check Aquarius that's what I just heard keep your emotions in check yeah this is all about relationship dynamics I don't know if you could see that relationship dynamic so the dynamic of a relationship sometimes this card can talk about the dynamic of the relationship being different it used to be one way now it's another way or it's shifting it's changing you also got yeah something's changing retirement showing up um so you're retiring an old way of now this could have everything to do with career finance you're going into retirement maybe into part-time work if you're not going to go fully into retirement but this also talks about ending one thing going into another. So maybe you're ending, you're going, you're having forgiveness, um, dealing with your emotions, uh, keeping your emotions in check. The relationship dynamics have shifted here and the cards want you to know that. Um, let's see what else is going on for you. Your finances might be getting better too. Someone could feel differently about the relationship now. You know, they're really processing their emotions and they feel differently. Maybe they used to be okay with it, whatever it may be, and now they're not okay with it. Somebody wants to shift the energy. Someone is asking for forgiveness. Somebody wants uh, someone to, you know, absolve them, you know, of all the wrongdoing. Get over it or, or just release it, relinquish it and move forward. But somebody's still stuck you know there and they have to process their emotions uh whenever it, however they they see fit and um they also have to process their emotions when they're ready because somebody could not be ready to do this you know um let's see what the cards have to offer the aquarius what do we have from the tarot what is forgiveness for the aquarius forgiveness yeah the eight of cups maybe you're dealing with the piscean person if you are not then this is more uh, of an energy of um, maybe having, having to, this card just fell out, uh, having to forgive someone someone's wrongdoing. Yeah, seven of swords, maybe somebody's deceptive nature, someone trying to sneak away from the relationship or they were sneaking away. Uh, they were out for themselves. They left you, you know, hurt, confused. They played mind games. They were masquerading like you know they were one way but they were another way they were they were acting like they were really in the relationship with you when they weren't you have to forgive someone for making you feel powerless and walking away from them you have to forgive someone for continuously putting your love your effort your devotion into the relationship and you're not getting what you deserve in return you have to forgive them because maybe you felt like you you gave too much of yourself it was a sacrifice you were sacrificing you for the relationship. So you have to forgive them for that, or they have to forgive you, Aquarius. Let's see. It could be Pisces, Aquarius, cusp that you are dealing with, or that could be you. Uh, what What is emotions? Let's get a card for emotions. Thank you. All right. Eight of swords. So you got some cycles going here with the eights showing up. Um, this cycle of negative thinking, unhealthy thinking, the... Lover's card talks about health, jumping to conclusions or cutting people off or cutting them out, the queen of swords, and then being by yourself and saying that, you know, I'm emotional, I'm emotionally stable by myself. Like I can just, 
you know, it's better to be by myself. If I'm in a relationship, if I'm depending on anyone else, there is too much uh, risk for disappointment. So you have to start to process your emotions accurately, Aquarius. Um, and know when you're getting into the energy of overthinking eight of swords, feeling like you're being used, you've been misused, um, cyclical thoughts, you know, over processing something here. Maybe even running your thoughts through your emotions and not your emotions through your thoughts. I don't know. So you have to kind of get in control of that relationship dynamics, relationship dynamics, relationship dynamics, relationship dynamics, the four of swords. So there could be a relationship that again, with the relationship dynamic card, something could have changed here because the four of swords talks about a relationship being on the rocks, you know, it's fragile. Uh, this is make it or break it time. Somebody needs to either show up or step off um, thinking about the future. So like the dynamic has changed here. It's, it's, it's um, the fragility of the relationship of the situation is, is dire. It is, oh, I heard paramount. Oh, okay. So maybe somebody's acting like they in a movie. Four of cups. Yeah, the stability, the roots the the groundedness of this relationship has been something being uprooted you know um maybe unearthing some new knowledge maybe some things you didn't know about you're learning about that also you have to determine what the future of this relationship looks like you really that's all this really is the four of cups are you able to see past the emotions or are you going to be kind of more so um, drawn into yourself and more so self-centered in terms of your emotions or you're going to you know uh, really see the bigger picture maybe not miss out on the opportunity the blessing the gift that the universe is handing you or are you still going to look at the past the three of cups what happened back then We got the nine of pentacles showing up. Not exactly sure. Some of you need to be open. You just need to be more open to relationships and be like you on paper. You look good. You're the perfect person, but some of you need to do some heart chakra work. You need to, yeah, you need to appear open. The six of pentacles. Um, you need to appear approachable, something about, you know, approachable. Um, yeah. Nine of wands. It's like, some of you just going to stand on the sidelines and not engage with a person because it's, it's safe there. It's a safety place. You just don't know if you should jump back in because the relationship, again, is fragile, is rocky. You don't know if you should fight for it, if you should continue, or this is how your your person feels. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles, somebody's self-sufficient, independent, um, really not in need of anything. Uh but you don't have that um, intimate relationship, that vulnerability aspect of yourself going on right now. What is retirement? Oh, that's why I came in. You need to retire this. You need to retire that that attitude of, you know, super independent. I've been doing it by myself. It can sometimes, when you become the nine of pentacles, it takes time getting here, right? And over time, you can sometimes become kind of callous like a, a callous or you can become hard you know stern uh rigid you know not uh, you know uh unmovable not bend not bendable or i don't know flexible yep and you get you get ghost or ghost situations especially when you see it it just it's not lining up with the narrative that you have told yourself or that you need or that you need in order to stay in something. Let's see what else the cards have to say for the Aquarius. Um, can we get one card? Well, let's just, let's just do general. Let's see. What do we have to tell? Okay. Loving. Maybe you need to be loving or this is what you, you're feeling like you're deserving or someone feels like you're deserving of more love or loving. You got next week, and this was showing up off camera when I shuffled. 
something about next week next week for you uh, loving deserving um, let's see maybe you feel like you are deserving of more than what you have been what your options are or what somebody has been presenting to you somebody could want your forgiveness because they're saying I dumped you and now I want you back please forgive me yeah they're depressed without you but you're in a place where you're just like I just can't and I don't take you serious you're kind of shrugging it off you know you could be of two minds about this person it doesn't always mean that you have to be in love with two people but you can just be in two minds about this person yep and you're stuck here because you you don't think healthy about this person okay or it wasn't a healthy connection and you're very strong okay and uh let's see what okay those this one to come out understanding somebody is completely obsessed with you but they say anything yeah just to keep you maybe you haven't healed yet Aqu aquarius something happened around christmas I don't know if there was a reunion, maybe a sex with your friend, um, an anniversary. This sometimes can indicate reconciliation, coming back together. But you, you don't know how you feel about it. Maybe you feel ill about it. You kind of feel sick about allowing this person to come back. Maybe because you find, you, once again, new knowledge. Maybe you found out they had several different affairs, you know, or they had several different people. I'm feeling like a changed energy. Yeah, it, it, it's making you angry because you're studying on this. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Got a yes card coming out. We're going to clarify that yes card. Um, let's see. Let's get a few more. It's just like maybe you found something out. This makes you angry that you were taken advantage of because you felt like you were deserving of so much more. Um, maybe without this person, you found happiness. You found what you thought was happy. Uh, somebody could be uh, homosexual, gay. Um, good ideas coming out. Good idea to stay strong, muscular, to get stronger, to be stronger. Maybe in terms of love, to keep your happiness. Yeah, legacy. All right. Maybe there's fighting in the family too. There was a fighting, fighting at a family gathering, Thanksgiving. Somebody is completely in love with you. You know, I love how you dress. I think you're a fashionista. But this person could have somebody else because they're saying be, we have to be careful. He or she almost found the text messages. Somebody is, is really doing some stuff behind your back here. You just, you don't know, you know, that this is who they really are. Yeah. They could be lusting for you. Somebody's horrible with money. Maybe that's why you fear coming back to them. You fear putting any effort, time into this. They just don't. Thug keeps wanting to come out. Some of y'all dealing with some real, you know, some um, to people that's in the street. Birthday and waiting. Maybe they kept you waiting on your birthday because they're thugs. I mean, what do you expect? This is what it is. They don't have much to offer. You know, they're not a somebody it may even be saying that to you like what do you think this was what do you think you were going to get from me this is all i have to offer yeah but they're missing you or you're missing them somebody's not bothered or they are bothered yeah somebody's bothered by this separation because you got missing and then bothered separation so you may be separating yourself from this con man this fraud this liar this person who, who everything they say is cap is a lie um you you feel, they're feeling it now you know they're feeling your absence let's go ahead and clarify this yes answer what is this yes answer for aquarius what's the yes answer for aquarius seven of wands yes uh keep your distance somebody could try to come in like a wrecking ball um with that destructive nature you know they're coming in to destroy um be proactive get in front of things also uh, protect yourself protect your identity protect because that's what the seven of wands is about it's about fighting for what you already have so if you found peace or happiness you need to protect that at all costs you still need to have your guard up your boundaries up even if you are dealing with someone who says that they have changed one more card for yes in the seven of wands um 
Yes, somebody wants sex from you also. Three of Pentacles. Yes, uh, somebody wants a, a sexual relationship with you. They're coming in destructive, and but they want to have you. Yeah, they want to have this relationship, this carefree relationship forever. Or maybe they even want a new start with you. Um, work, building. Um, they feel like you're the one to build a life with, to start this with. They want to start over. They want something new to develop between the two of you. Yeah. The tower card though, but um, it's like letting something crumble, letting it all fall down. And then in the rubble, in the midst of it, of, of the destruction, you get the king of pentacles. Maybe some of you need to, when you put these boundaries up and this person really feels that you're serious, they feel your absence here. Uh, that'll be like a tower moment for them. And then they know that they have to come to you, you know, practical, honest, reliable with the king of pentacles. So like you get, yeah, you make this person change. The will of fortune talks about change. Yeah. You get what you want. You get victory here. You get success because you relied on your principles and your morals. You didn't get down in, a, in the gutter with them. You didn't allow them to jerk you around like in the five of wands. And now this person comes back doing something big, trying to pull you back in. Even though they're still apprehensive about commitment, they know that you're the one and they got to pull you back in. Yep. With the star card and the judgment, they want a second chance. And then the queen of pentacles coming out with the king of pentacles. Yeah. So it's like somebody really wants a relationship with you here. Um, yeah. They want a relationship with you, right? They know they have to change, but they know if you, if you just allow them back, however they want to be, then that's how they'll be. But the cards are saying, if you put your boundaries up, if you have your standards and maintain your standards, you could make this person shift, you know, shift the energy here. You can make them grow up, um, become into that King status here. What is the advice for Aquarius? And then we're going to close this out. What's the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So the Ten of Pentacles talks about, you know, a windfall, marrying into money, uh, legacy again, uh, luxury. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is unlike the Ten of Cups because the Ten of Pentacles, it is real. Something is realized. This is the manifestation. This is um, everlasting. This is long-term goal fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles also says, if you don't like your family, go make your own. The Ten of Pentacles also says, in advice, it says, stay home. If you want to know if you should go, I don't know, go wherever. It says, stay home. The Ten of Pentacles says that maybe somebody in your life is long-term. Um, the Ten of Pentacles says that when you get in this type of relationship, you guys will be committed to the empire, the legacy, and not more so committed to one another, but more so committed to having something to pass down through the generations. It talks about generational wealth. It says that happy, organized people create empires. Okay. So be happy and be organized. All right. What else do we have? The King of Cups, be in control. King of Cups, of your emotions, be balanced, be emotion, emotionally balanced. You know how to balance out your emotions, okay? Yes, you might be angry, but you don't need to go all the way to the left. You know, take the middle ground here. You don't need to be so drastic. Yeah. The King of Cups also says that maybe you're going to have a very loving, doting husband or um, wife. Wow. Then the lovers comes out. Yeah. You're going to have a love relationship, a soulmate situation that is significant, but you both have to choose the soulmate path. You know, um, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it because you got the 10 of pentacles coming out first. Something about sticking. This is like staying power. You have to have staying power to have this Aquarius. And if you don't have that, cause we talked about the Aquarius ghosting and leaving and if it's not how they want, they'll leave. Yeah, wow, three of pentacles. You have to have stay in power here. You have to be able to build. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or a new person. Um, this person feels like there's an ulterior motive here. You feel that way about them. 
they got a lot of emotions for you, but they don't know how to express them. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How to know when I'm live, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and then click the bell notification so you get that notification. At the lives, you can come for the collective reading, ask questions also. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.